So right now we're gonna do kind of a, a main course. It's very light. It could be lunch, but it could also be a dinner, a nice summery dinner dish. We're using bronzino, which is kind of like a, a, a bass. Um, has a very sweet texture, a flavor to it, very delicate texture. We're gonna grill that. These have been deboned. If you can see here, the bone has been taken out and they've been butterflied. Just kind of cut down the center like that. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open them up like this. I'm gonna season them. Do all the salt and pepper first. And season a little bit of the outside, that skin part. Skin has a lot of nutritional benefits, so if you have a nice small fish like this, leave it on. We're gonna just brush it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, or olive oil, doesn't have to be extra virgin, just a little bit so that it doesn't stick on our grill. And have a little bit of an herb salt or chopped herbs you can put in there too. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop that on the grill. This is our wood burning grill. Um, we have a gorgeous uh, uh, pecan wood that we use to, to fire up the grill with, and it does one of two things. Pecan wood is, um, it's, a, it's a hard wood, so it's gonna burn a little bit cooler than the softer woods do, so that you're not gonna get so much burning going on, and it's gonna allow the smoke to flavor the fish at the same time, okay? At home, you can do it on a grill and a skillet. Um, you can even um, just put it under a broiler. Um, if you have a, an oven with a broiler setting, it gives it that nice heat. Um, I like to do the, uh, the grilling aspect initially to get the color, the flavor, and then you can pop it in the oven and finish it in there. The skin's curling up a little bit, telling me that my fish is nice and fresh. And that one I'm just gonna put under my broiler and finish it down there. I'm gonna leave it there for about four or five minutes. And then we're gonna make the couscous next. So what we're using is we're using couscous. And this salad can be warm or cold, depending on the time of day, um, what you feel like. Uh, I like it kind of room temperature. Um, and then once you have the couscous all light and fluffy like this, um, you're just gonna add some, some garnishes to it. So we're gonna put cucumber in there. I'm gonna put a few red peppers in there. I'm gonna dice them. And this is gonna get nice and colorful. And we're gonna season it a little salt, a little pepper. And we're gonna put extra virgin olive oil in this one. This, you have to put extra virgin in this one so that it gets that beautiful, rich flavor. Mix that in there. It's already looking very fun. And then we're gonna use a lot of these herbs that we have up in our garden. Um, and you can if you want. You can go ahead and you can chop them nicely and everything, but I really like to just tear the herbs. They're gonna give you that beautiful flavor. A lot of the oils won't go onto the cutting board because a lot of times when you cut herbs, a lot of those flavors end up on your knife and your cutting board rather than in your bowl. We have a purple basil and a sweet Italian. The purple has a little bit more, I think more like a licorice flavor. Uh, we're also gonna put a little bit of uh, oregano in there. And just kind of mix that in there. And then just kind of let that sit, maybe for five minutes or so. All those flavors, you can certainly eat it now, but you want to let those flavors kind of come out of the basil. It'll kind of permeate the, the couscous. A little squeeze of lemon juice in there. So we'll put that aside for a minute. I'm gonna go check my fish. Needs another minute. While the fish is finishing, I'm just gonna make a very simple vinaigrette lemon juice, some capers, a little bit more olive oil, some salt, pepper, mix that together. We have these beautiful tomatoes. Um, I think I'm just going to put a slice on the plate. It's gorgeous. Okay, so the fish is coming out, it's nice and bubbly. And again, we'll just add some chopped herbs to that. And we already seasoned it, so we really don't need to add any more salt. Just finish it with a tiny bit of olive oil. Get our basil salad ready with the couscous. Get a nice piece of the bronzino. 
that on there. A little bit of that caper vinaigrette. Beautiful herbs just from the garden. And there you go, bronzino with couscous, fresh garden herbs, and heirloom tomatoes. I want people to feel comfortable in coming to the hotel um, and experiencing great food and super service. There's not really any special requirements in coming to the restaurant to eat, except being hungry and enjoying good food. Restaurant week coming up just this next week, uh, $25, three course menu, and I, we're doing a, a lot of other restaurants are doing that throughout the city. For the month of uh, September, we're doing um, beer and brats. Uh, we're making our own little uh, bratwurst uh, on little mini buns, and we're pairing that with, uh, with a, a beer a ta on tap. Uh, $5 beer is a dollar for the brat. It's more for that uh, time when people want to come in after work, before dinner, just to kind of get things going. We have our chocolate buffet um, next year, early next year, starting up, and we're doing, uh, we're getting ready for that whole process. Um, and we're, we're doing that with celebrities, where we have a celebrity host, um, and we're gonna do about 30 um, different tastes of chocolate. And we're actually making some of our chocolate in-house, where we uh, procure the beans, um, either from Panama um, or the Ivory Coast. We roast them and we actually make our own chocolate from that, which is really exciting because not too many people uh, do that or get to see that. And the other thing is that we're going to be um, driving the uh, hotel restaurant week, which is coming up in the, the first part of next year. Um, typically restaurants do it uh, as a group and I think now with the uh, addition of several new hotels in this city, I really want to encourage people to try hotels out. I think there's a, a stigma attached with that sometimes. Um, I feel that people can get amazing deals and values at hotels um, and take advantage of all those extra amenities that come with them.